In this lesson we're going to look at IELTS letter writing and we're going to look at a sample band 9 semi-formal letter. Now IELTS band 9 letters require a high skill level and you must satisfy all of the band descriptors for a band 9 response and these fall under task achievement, coherence and cohesion, lexical resource and grammatical range and accuracy. Now, if you look at the IELTS band descriptors for task 1 writing, um, you'll see these explained a bit more and what they are for each descriptor. You can see them in the link below the video. Now this letter is one that needs to be written to the head teacher of a school so it can be viewed as a semi-formal letter. So something important to get right is the tone. So for a formal or semi-formal letter, you want to avoid language that's too informal because you're not writing to a friend or a family member. But there is though not a great deal of difference between formal and semi-formal letters. So let's take a look at the question. So in this one, so your child is going on a school trip abroad for three days and the headmaster of the school has asked any parents if they would like to come along to assist and you would like to go. So you're writing the letter to the headmaster and specifically you'll be given three bullet points that you need to do, need to answer, to respond to. So in this one you have to say why you would like to go, what you could do to help during the trip and to ask some further questions, questions about the trip. Now remember you'll give, be given some further instructions and they are that you should write at least 150 words. You don't need to write addresses and it will also tell you how to start the letter. In this case it's with dear. So let's look at the beginning of the letter. So you start with the salutation and the purpose. The salutation is who the letter's to. So in this case, we've got this is a semi-formal letter. So we've got dear Mr. Jenkins. Remember, you were given dear, so you can then make up a name. And this is a salutation. You could say the first name, for example, Bob Jenkins, if you wanted. And then you can give the purpose of the letter. So I'm writing to you regarding the upcoming trip to Paris, for which you are looking for people to accompany the children. So this can come from the prompt. And in this particular one, the writers also noted that they're the father of Joshua Williams and would be delighted to join the trip and help out. Then the, this was the first bu bullet point, so say why you would like to go. So let's look at, a, look at an example paragraph for this. So we can see one body paragraph has been written for the first point. It's worth noting though that sometimes the purpose of the letter could be combined with this first point. That's often the case. There might only be three body paragraphs. However, for a band sort of eight or nine letter, I'd recommend separating them. So you can say in this case they've explained why they would like to go. So I can assist during this time because currently I am off work for a few months and would like something to fill up my free time. Also, the person notes that I've helped the school out on a variety of events such as a school sports day last summer and also the jumble sale a few months ago and I thoroughly enjoyed being of assistance. So you should note then that ideas are expanded on and, and explained. So you must expand on your ideas and explain them. And for a band sort of eight or nine, you should give lots of support. So for the second bullet point, you're asked to suggest what you could do to help out during the trip. This then can make up your next body paragraph for this second point. Now you can see specifically there's a topic sentence and you can see this relates to this point. So suggest what you could do during the trip. There are a number of things I could do to help out. This makes it very clear what the paragraph is about and which point it's referring to. And these are then explained. For example, I can come early in the morning to the school before we leave and make sure everybody is accounted for and on the bus. But also of relevance is the fact that I can speak French and know Paris well, so I'll be able to assist with the day-to-day -day practical practicalities of moving the children around and going to the museums and other attractions. The third bullet point, ask some further questions about the trip, is what you have to do. 
So again, we've got another body, body paragraph for this third point. Again, there's a topic sentence relating to specifically to this first point. And then further explanation is given. So questions, do you have an itinerary about where they're going, what they're going to see? They're also asking about, so they can prepare themselves, they're also asking about what time exactly are you due to be back in the UK? So note again that these ideas are expanded. So with the itinerary, they've asked so they're why, why they want that, because it'll be useful to, to prepare myself for some background reading. And regarding the time, this person has explained why they need to know the time, because they have an event in the evening when they're due to come back, and they don't want to miss this. So then we come to closing the letter. So this should be closed with a polite ending of the letter. Thank you for considering my offer, and I look forward to hearing from you and then a formal closing phrase. It's very important that you do not miss the formal closing phrase because this can affect, affect your band score quite considerably. Now, because we started the letter with dear and name, this would normally end with yours sincerely. So let's look at why it would particularly get a band nine. Now the first criteria it's marked on is task achievement. Now this particular letter, as we've seen, the purpose is very clear. That was given at the start of the letter. The correct opening and closing phrases were used. It covers all the bullet points and it fully extends each one. Nothing needs to be added to improve it. You'll note that it was 310 words and this might seem quite long because the maximum is 150. However, a band nine writer will usually be able to do this and they will have more fully extended points than you'll see for somebody who would maybe a weaker writer and might be writing less. So if you are a weaker writer, then reduce the amount you write in support of each point and stick more to the 165 to 185 word range. This will mean probably getting a lower score, but you have to be realistic about what you can achieve in the time. So coherence and cohesion is the next criteria. In this one, it can be read with ease and ease and it's logically organized. Skillful paragraphing has been used. The purpose is given in the first body paragraph. Each bullet point has a clear body paragraph and there's a closing paragraph. There's perfect use of transition words and connectors and substitution is used correctly and skillfully. We'll just look at some examples of these. You can see, for example, the topic sentence here to say what the paragraph is about. We've got some connectors here, for example, a word showing that this is contrasting with the other paragraph. We've got also to give extra information. We've got so to join two clauses. We also have a subordinating conjunction to join an independent and a dependent clause, another subordinating conjunction. And also another one here, although. So these are all words that are connecting the paragraph together in a coherent way. But we can also look at some examples of substitution here. Substitution is where you use a, a word um, instead of another one you used before, so you don't repeat yourself. So there is used here. They're referring to the place they're going. This. So do you have an itinerary you can send me? So I know what we are going to see whilst there. This refers to sending, get, to getting an itinerary. We have it. So although I can miss it, which means the event in the evening, I would like to let them know it in advance if this will be the case. That in there, that's referring to having to miss it. So these are all good uses of substitution and and avoids repetition. If you look at Lexis, so why it's a band nine for Lexis, which mainly refers to vocabulary, but other things such as collocation. So good, it's good natural range of vocabulary. The vocabulary is appropriate to the topic. Phrasal verbs and idioms are used correctly. And also there's a skill for use, skill for use of collocations. So we'll look at, again at some examples of these. So some good vocabulary of particular relevance, day-to-day -day practicalities, 
attractions. Uh, example of a phrasal verb correctly used here to help out. Uh, example here of a collocation. So accounted collocates with for. We say accounted for. That's an example of collocations. So there's much more in the letter, but there's just some examples here. Now, if we look at the grammatical range in accuracy, there's completely accurate grammar and punctuation and only minor slips. So this would be needed for a band nine. There's a wide range of structures with full flexibility and accuracy. So we're going to look at some examples. For example, would like or would would be perfect. So would being used correctly to talk about imagine things in the future. Correct tense is used. I am currently off work. Present perfect. I have helped. We also have because. So we have sub some subordinating clauses. This is, makes up an adverbial clause as to make an adverbial clause. And for example, enjoyed being of assistance. So the correct prepositional phrase, phrase used after the verb enjoyed. So these are just some examples. So now we'll look at the full IELTS letter that you can see here. So you'll see we've got the salutation, then we have the purpose, Bullet point one is addressed in the next paragraph. Remember, as I mentioned, sometimes you will see the purpose and the bullet point one combined together in the first paragraph. We have bullet point two, discussed. Bullet point three, the polite closing, and then the closing phrase. So something like this would help you to get a band nine for your letter.